it's a chilly 40 degrees it's been raining a little on the cold damp side but that's okay because it's about to get nice and toasty the Siberian fire lay Today I'm in a beautiful woodland. Lots of pine and hemlocks and beautiful club moss carpeting the forest floor. Now I've had some good fires in my day. I've had some pretty big fires. And because of my recent struggles of keeping warm with a good fire all night long, I decided this time that I need to step up my fire game. As you can see, I got the logs laid out in a Siberian fire lay format. I'm using pine today. Pine's a softwood. This is not a planned overnighter. So softwood might be a, a good idea because otherwise, it could turn into an overnighter. <laughs> I'm going to start this fire with some fat wood dust. pretty damp out everything's wet hopefully this goes pretty good pretty quickly what you want is one solid log as your base log you don't want any air going underneath that base log and on top is what what I call feeder logs fairly long got them spaced out so they cannot catch with each other and burn toward the back of the fire. You want everything to be burning on the front of the fire. She's starting to rock and roll now, baby. Starting to rock and roll. <clears throat> so what's gonna happen with these overhanging logs is they're going to catch and they're gonna put off a lot of heat. And what you wanna do is just keep adding fuel to the front of your fire until the whole thing starts to burn sort of on its own. Now if you have harder wood, more dense wood, it's going to be more beneficial. But you can make a fire lay like this last all night long. Oh my 
God, that fire is hot as hell. So you can see that those top logs are, are catching pretty good. They're starting to turn gray. That base log is burning. It is putting off some mad heat. All right, we're about an hour into this burn. The logs are starting to get a little bit shorter up here on top. All you have to do is just inch them a little bit forward. Trying to keep that same angle. So for cooking, just rake some coals to the side, to the front. God, it's hot. Set your cook pot on there. Good to go. Now you can see that we got a gap right there. The logs have uh, burned down quite a bit. So all we got to do is just give it a little push. Say you're out with two or three people and you get in a situation where you got to stay warm to survive. You could have a longer Siberian fire lay, longer base log, multiple fire lays, as long as big as you want it. Fire safety is very important. Do not ever walk away from a burning fire. I have a creek nearby I'll do whatever is necessary to make sure this fire is gone all the wood burn up it might take me all night but I will not leave this fire burning thank you for watching guys appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one I'm still out here